here after the amazing House of 3000 uh, stage survey. Yeah, if you attend, you know, fill out the survey, estimation point survey in the chat. <laughs> All right, we're getting right on started. And look at this. I was one supposed to commentate this. Well, I'll do my best to figure it out. <laughs> try. Try. And a big part of this is going to be how much... And, oh my god, they're, they're actually getting knocked around like pinballs right now. All right, I'm liking PK Chris's movement. It's a little confusing, though, because Zero to None decided to write Chris over his head. Yeah. Maybe those are, like, their actual names? They're probably using each other's names. Anyway. Yeah, maybe. And beautiful PSI magnet from uh, PK Chris. PK Brandon. Yeah. Charges up the down smash, but both, both players recover high, so no good. And here we go. Frozen coming up with a getup attack. I'm surprised. And, oh. Oh, good timing from DK Chris, but it just wasn't enough to break that uh, Falco fire, as we call it. The Firebird. Oh, and that's actually pretty important right there. If you saw that, PK Chris was able to absorb the uh, the explosive flame and save Zelda from all the hits. So that's neat. Rosen losing his first stock finally. Four stocks per piece, but it's a little uh, uneven the way it's set up right now. Let's see how it goes. Play in neutral. Both have one side to themselves and PK Chris in danger, throwing out a rogue PK Thunder. Trying his best to get on the stage without being too in danger. He wants to help preserve this uh, stock lead, the stock evenness that the red team has right now. Gets back thrown by Palu. Ness is like, ha, pathetic. And here he comes. Uh, zero to none, finding a lightning kick and a forward smash. He's hitting some strong moves, but just can't seem to find the kill. Oh my gosh. Be careful. Everyone's going flying. I don't know how that happened, but it sure was exciting. All right, zero, uh, PK Chris finally lost his first stock, and Zelda is coming back. You can't give Zelda in this game. And here we go. Look at all that damage. Wow. And PK Chris, despite focusing on Falco, did a great job of seeing Frozen coming up behind him. He has good spatial awareness to be able to do that. He hits the uh, Falco Phantasm, but no kill confirmed. That's what Frozen's for. Zero Nub wasting absolutely no time. Immediately takes that stock to save uh, PK Chris from an instant demise. All right, it's going to be on Zero Nub to make sure they keep this lead. And I'm seeing that Zero to Nub is... He's trying to get a little antsy with kill moves. He better be careful. Like, I understand he wants to keep that lead at all costs. And, oh, he has to save her. I save him. No such luck. All right, it's up to him to win a 2v1 as Zelda. That's hard, though, when you've got a Palutena and a Falco. Nice lightning kick. Doesn't get the kill, though. That's very unfortunate. Let's see what they can do. That's right. If, he, if uh, Zero Nut can hit a uh, grab right here, he can certainly get the kill with a back throw. And, oh, baby. All right, I like the intent there. Zero to none. Zero to That's a double grab. Okay. And zero to none uh, recognized that. Did the beefy up B. Had enough already? To make sure he at least got the hit trade. And here we have a rare Frozen and Tilda in their natural habitat. I don't have much to say about it. I think uh, I think both teams are doing really good on the spatial awareness front. More so the uh, red team. But it really, really does feel like... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say, but Zero to None might have... Uh, I don't know. Let's get to game two. It ain't good to lose your train of thought as a commentator. <laughs>
see how it goes. All right, both both uh, teams that engaged in 1v1s, making no effort to help the other teammates out. I'm not sure that's a good idea for them to just engage in 1v1s like that, though. This is Frozen and Tilda we're talking about. And when it comes to... Um, when it comes to team battles, being able to win neutral frequently is the uh, name of the game. What's the back air? No kill yet. Oh my god. Frozen takes the hit, uses the momentum to just rift on it and get the kill. He's gonna have to be careful. Okay, okay, okay. Zirinun rolls in with a forward smash, gets PK fired. Good. He has to be careful. He's going to get up tilted by Tilda. And there he goes. Off the stage. Both of them off the stage. <laughs> and there is just some mayhem going on. And I'm loving it. So from what I've been seeing here... It seems like Zero to None has been suffering the most deaths, probably because he's playing a character who doesn't win neutral very much and kind of suffers in scramble situations aside from neutral. Wow, nice hit. Scramble situations. But um, PK Chris is doing an excellent job just being a stock tank. I feel like his, uh, his spatial awareness of where everyone is on the field is really carrying the team. Not to say that Zero to None is slouching either, though. He's capitalizing on those, uh, he's capitalizing on a lot of situations where they count. Whereas Tilda and Frozen are keeping, keeping pace with just really, really solid teamwork. But in this case, in this case, it seems like the ingenuity of Red Team is going to be pulling through this time. It's supposed to flame their, uh, PK Chris going for a ride. Down throw. Nair. PK Chris DIing Palutena's down throw in. And zero to none. Just getting hit. I can't keep track. Regardless, it's green team that's going to have to deal with a 2v1 now. Let's see what Tilda can pull out like this. I feel like this is going to be a really hard comeback for Tilda. Because Falco doesn't have like that explosive, that explosive personality that just wins games out of nowhere. Nice up smash. Just runs up and does it. PK Chris knows he has a backup in uh, in zero to none support. And with that knowledge, he will secure game two with a somewhat ratchet up smash, but it was well played. It was well met. And they are not changing the song playing on Pokemon Stadium 2. We are listening to the Wild Battle remix for a little while. Yep, we are off the battlefield. Battle. This is the counter pick from. This is the counter pick from Frozen and Tilda. They're picking Battlefield. But to be honest, all four of these characters do very well in Battlefield, so it should be a pitched and exciting battle. Still, let's see if they can get an advantage out of it. Green team, that is. Right now, they're both just winning 1v1s right now. Look at that, the double juggle. No good. It's zero done so far, a really early stock. Let's see it. Oh. PK Curse tried really hard to get a uh, some one two v one pressure on uh, Tilda, but it backfired. And home run bat's in the wrong direction. And Frozen is not wasting the opportunity. He's like, you can't land that that easily. It's time for dash attack.
That's right, that top platform is going to help out a lot. Alright, finally pulling first blood, but... Wow, Tilda is just ripping them apart with back airs and up tilts. And up tilt into back air. Immediately separate. <clears throat> nice team combo. A handsome 38 damage right off the bat. PK Chris did a good job of reading that uh, t that uh, preemptive teleport, but no good. And wow, that was an amazing. I wish I was paying attention to it, but that was an amazing conversion from uh, PK Chris. I mean, zero to none. God, the mix-up names actually are messing me up. All right, Tilda's going to Firebird right onto the stage. Oh, here we go, nest combos. Frozen going for the two-frame attempt, but no good. Can't find it just yet. And not dead yet. He's still got, he's still got life yet. Frozen punishing... Uh, Zero Nun's down, uh, forward smash with a down air. I'm surprised. Let's see. Finds another up tilt. Tilda. Frozen's finding an edge guard, too. Let's see what happens. Frozen's gonna double jump back air. Oh. Here they come. They are coming in hot. They know they have the more decisive kill moves. And Zero Nun wasn't paying attention. The explosive flame coming out. They don't have a choice but to uh, share stock right now. And there you go. It's evened up, and it didn't kill. All right. This is really going to be whoever gets the next stock. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The shield's broken, and there he goes. Did he know that would happen? Oh, my God. All right. And the play here is going to be uh, have PK Chris run away. Well, Zero Nun does all the fighting for him. Like, Zero Nun should get in there right now because... PK Chris loses the stock. He doesn't want to have to... Nice. Attempted team combo. If he makes a mistake, he's going to have to deal with the 1v1 against Palutena of all characters. And here we go. PK Chris. The one hit up air. Down smash, but it's not that strong. And wow! Finds the Din's fire. An excellent showing from uh, Zero Down and PK Chris. Pulling it out in the most dire of circumstances.